Hey everybody, it's time for some weekly wrap up. I haven't done a weekly wrap up in a while, so I thought I would uh, say hello, I've missed you. Um, so, um, lots of things, lots of things happening, um, lots of classes, lots of new art, all kinds of stuff. So, I just came from the gym, so this is what you get. Sometimes it's not pretty over here. Most of the time it's not pretty over here. I usually look like a homeless person. Paint clothes, paint everywhere, paint, ugh. Anyway, it's what you get. So, um, this week, um, lots of creating happened. I've been doing lots of really great, cool Sunday inspirations too, and I'm um, getting lots of great comments from you, and I so, I so appreciate it. It means so much to me when you share your stories, when you share your art, what you're creating and how I've inspired you. It's just makes me happy and it's why I do what I do. <clears throat> My word for the year is inspire. So anyway, this week on Tuesday I was not scheduled for um, an Artist Gang Tuesday but one of my fellow um, members, uh, Artist Gang members, was not feeling well. So I, I jumped in and did a piece and this is what I created. Look at those colors. Love it, love, love, love. Three of Donna Downey's signature stencils, um, some pastels, some just some yummy, yummy goodness. Great message. I'm into that. So um, if you haven't seen that, <clears throat> There's a link on my blog. You can also subscribe to the Artist Gang YouTube channel um, or the Facebook page, um, and you will you won't miss you won't miss anybody. So um, that was Artist Gang Tuesday, and I'm coming up at the end of July for another Artist Gang Tuesday. So be ready for that. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a big one. Hmm. All right. So play days have me playing with lots of different things. Um, I have created this little book, which I will have a tutorial on, or possibly an artist gang drop in. I don't know because I used a lot of Donna Downey's um, products in the creation of this. But uh, in the planner crazy is the craze right now for planners is nuts, nuts, nuts. I am not a good plan. I use my I ha my phone has everything. So I use my phone. I have a small pocket one, like planner, calendar kind of thing, but um, everything pretty much goes in my phone. But I am a huge journal, being able to write notes, being able to um, create, having a space to create, and that's what I've created here. And um, so my play days have been in here a lot. So you've seen this one, and I just did let's see where is it somewhere in here oh my gosh seriously that one just did that one but it's I did a really cool thing and I included some additional papers in here for notes and I included um, some of my paint chips so I can write you know, when I'm creating something um, the steps or the products that I use to create it so I can recreate. So anyway, play day, fun stuff. Other thing I've been doing too is um, creating these coloring pages. So um, working on a project with Stampington um, and also for the blog, for, I mean for my shop so that you can download some coloring pages and color and do some fun things with that. So. That's fun, fun, fun. And it's really stretching me because um, <clears throat> I've never thought of myself as um, a drawer. Um, I can throw down paint like you wouldn't believe or anything else, but to actually sketch something out and have it look like, like it is something, <laughs> um, I've never thought of myself as that. Um, but I've really worked hard this year drawing faces even. Um, I mean, how cute is that? So, <clears throat> I'm kind of proud of myself. Anyway, those are play days and I just love it. Play day makes me really just stop 
and just have fun and we definitely need that definitely I do I know I do um let's see my list says texture party so um I have been teaching at craft fusion which is where I teach exclusively um love that shop we need to support our small shops because they're a dying breed there aren't very many left uh, at least in my city I don't know about yours but um they're few and far between so um and they carry all the products that you can't actually get say at a Michaels or something like that so um support your small shops shop small um but at craft fusion I just did the texture party um texture paste workshop and man did we have fun and watching everybody play is so much fun um, just the ideas that happen in the midst of creating is fabulous absolutely fabulous and it was a great time it was sold out um, so if you're thinking of taking a workshop of mine don't wait because they go fast um, it's a small classroom setting 10 people sometimes less especially like on a texture with the texture paste it's really hard if you have a lot of students to really be able to teach well and to give everybody time to create so anywhere between eight and ten is my max so um next one is hot glue oh my gosh have i got some good things up my sleeve um for that and it's the same pretty much the same thing as i teach um, online so if you're not local and you're not able to get to one of my actual workshops um, live then take take one online it's um, I think it's really reasonable um, I take you one step further than just showing you the techniques I help you create a piece with what you've learned and um, I've got the trailer you can see that and I've got a whole page of all the information and you can always email me if you have any other questions about taking a workshop um, don't hesitate to do that um deco days i finally finally got around to deco days i've been saying i'm doing it and i haven't done it part of the deco art blogger outreach program and um so this is this week's um deco art product project with their products um texture paste chalk paint chalk paint isn't just for furniture my friends um all kinds of fun stuff so if you haven't seen the video it's on my youtube channel um and you can watch it there or it's on the blog there's the videos on the blog too and i'll have a link in in the post today to that um let's see uh um, color oh, i did that i did that my notes are all over the place it's too much oxygen to the brain. That's what happens when you go to the gym. It's a love-hate relationship, I'm telling you. Um, this week, oh no, see? Supplies, let's talk about supplies. Every time I'm doing a video these days, I am giving you a link to the supplies that I use. Maybe not all of them, um, but some of the major ones are the ones that I think will probably get the most questions because I get asked I'll do something and I'll get an email that says what was that that you used and I want you to I want you to feel informed and I want you to be able to know you know what I'm creating with so I'm giving you a link to the supplies through Amazon um, it's the easiest way to be able to find the product and show you exactly what I'm using um, so uh, hopefully that will help and that will help some of your questions but again don't hesitate to send me an email if you have any questions with regards to what I'm doing um, I don't mind most I mean I try to get back to you as soon as possible so sometimes I've more and sometimes I've left um, comments so I do my best to try and get back to you as soon as possible and answer your questions <clears throat> Sunday inspiration this week is awesome. Um, these little babies are some, I was doing some cleaning this week, believe it or not, not in here, <laughs> not in this space, in the house. Um, I need to clean in here. And I found, I came across my old hanky collection and years ago, 
lots 20 years ago yeah more than that um, I was collecting these and I was going to make a quilt out of them I don't quilt much these days I don't sew at all this is back when my boys were little and I was able to make them matching outfits they would be horrified I could show you some pictures but anyway um, I digress uh, I was inspired by my hanky collection and got this grand idea about creating some art with them. And I originally was going to cut them up and use them actually on the on the wood. And I can't do it. I just can't. They're too sweet. So I scanned them and I am creating some collage packs out of them and then creating some art with them. So um, this is what I created from that from this hanky right here. Um, isn't she cute? It says enjoy the little things. Some two little butterflies right here. So cute. So cute. Um, collage pack is available. Um, this is their two, the butterflies. I use them obviously to create the piece, but uh, <clears throat> you get that. You get two pages from 1957 Flower and Garden magazine. So, so great. Um, <clears throat> Goodness. Um, I had a lot of difficulty creating this week um, because I did some things a little differently and I used, um, instead of my regular acrylic, I used watercolor because I wanted to kind of have some really light colors in the background. I wanted it to cool and it didn't do any of that. Um, it did kind of initially, but not, not the way that I wanted. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a tip right now of why. Um, I talk about it in the video, but um, with watercolor you need it to have an absorbent background um, for it to do its thing. Um, it also needs a little tooth because if it's too slick, it, you know, it doesn't pool right, and it does all kinds of funny things. So um, I was creating on wood which is not an absorbent background for watercolor. And normally, if you are doing that and you're not working on watercolor or anything like watercolor paper, if you are creating on a hard surface <clears throat> that doesn't provide that type of background for your watercolor, you need to use an absorbent ground. And I didn't do that. I used matte medium and I thought, eh, I knew that it could create some issues. Um, and it did. It, it kind of reacted with the watercolor and it made a super slick surface. And the watercolor never fully dried right away. I mean, even with my heat tool, it still was kind of funky. And so when I went in to do my shading and to do my pen work and some of the detail work, um, I destroyed every pen that I had. First of all, my favorite pen, which would have probably have worked well my um, Liquitex acrylic paint pen. It was dry as a bone. Dry. And my other pen, I can't find it in, I don't know why, in this mess, but I couldn't find my backup. Did a class this weekend. So then I went to my like ink pens and a few other things. It just destroyed them. Um, so I ended up with a Sharpie. That didn't, that ended up dead too. It was tough, but I worked through it, and I used every single pen in my stash. Now I gotta go pen shopping. Um, so, but it turned out okay, and I mean better than okay. I love it. It's cute, it's so cute. Um, so, just a lesson: use absorbent ground um, for your watercolors. Then you can spray it um, so that it stays, because watercolor is water soluble and anything that you put over it, like any type of inks or anything that you work with, you have to spray it. Sometimes you can dry it really dry and it'll stay, kinda, but <clears throat> not very often. So I did spray it, um, but it, it just didn't um, stay the way that I wanted it to. You have to watch the video. Anyway, that's my long story. Use absor absorbent ground when using watercolor. That'll save you a lot of problems and a lot of pens. All right, I think I got it all. Oh, oh no, one other thing. 
Um, lots of new stuff coming into the shop this next week. Um, I've slowly started loading them in, um, but I've got pillows and tote bags and all kinds of clocks and all kinds of stuff with my art. So um, super excited about that. And then stencils. I don't have it here. It's under this pile, I think. I'm not sure. But you will see it. I will do some demos and some things, things like that this next week. But stencils, at least two of them will be in the in the shop this week. So that is. Um, I think that's it. I think I did it all. So um, I hope that your weekend has been awesome. Happy Fourth of July weekend, celebrating our wonderful nation. Um, I hope it's been <clears throat> good for you. I hope it's been restful. I hope you got to see some fireworks and ooh and ah and spend time with those you love. And I hope you've taken some time to enjoy the little things. Um, we get so caught up, so busy in doing, doing, doing. At least I do. I'm the worst at it. I'm, I am. And I've been really mindful over the last few months to really take the time to um, appreciate just some of the small, small things that happen on a daily basis that we can overlook so easily. So I hope you have had some time to enjoy the little things. And I hope you always know that you are loved. Have a great weekend.